<sighs> okay. All right, so here we have M1 Max 64 gig monster. So let's go ahead and just do the unboxing. Okay, so here it is again. I do have got it actually yesterday it was the uh, m1 max and so basically just want to go ahead and let you guys know this is going to be the unboxing of it now it feels uh, yeah definitely feels a little heavy so definitely i ordered this on the day it actually came out which was on uh i ordered it on october the the event i think october 18 and now it was i got it yesterday which was november 5th so and uh, supposed to get November 9th. Now, uh, I'm hearing some of you are able to pick up uh, at the Apple Store directly. They do have it, the, the 64 gig available. Um, I heard somebody picked it up at, it was the four terabytes. So mine does not have four terabytes. Mine comes with a one terabyte. Without going the reasons as to why. Uh, okay, so, but other than that, let's go ahead and begin the unboxing. It's just satisfying. So before I get to taking it off, I remember that I had to grab like, and if you guys remember this, you're gonna have to grab like a box cutter or something just to open it up, right? But now they have this little flappy thing that you can actually open them. Oh, satisfying. Every time. The AirPods 3 also have this. Well, not this exactly, but they do have like a strap in the back, a few of them. You guys can check out that video on the previous one, actually, that I just done. Okay, so that's the top part. Let's see if we can. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, man. This thing is beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. So we'll put that away. So here we have the actual MacBook Pro here. Now it's all unwrapped. So, man, it definitely has a... Oh, man. It's just... It's just a suspense and intensity. These boxes actually have a little thicker, more... Um, dimensions here maybe I'm wrong I'm not sure maybe the, re the boxing is a little bit different oh but there it is guys there it is man I have to talk about also what I actually do have is <laughs> just want to show you guys what I actually missed about the the, the the previous MacBook Pro didn't have basically have the ports okay so <laughs> is this just something that I want to see Definitely, I wanted it back, and I'm glad Apple was able to do that. So, okay. So, yeah, let me, let me get that weight out. Okay. Yeah, definitely has weight. It's not as bad as I thought, though. Okay, so, yeah, it has some weight, but it's not as heavy as, like, I mean, I do a lot of content creating, and so that means, basically, I do have a Ronin S, so basically, I do a lot of gimbal work. My arms are like, yeah, they get their work out basically. So, um, but wow, that's it's pretty cool. So if it feels good. I won't open this just yet. Okay, so here's the box. Of course, you have the MagSafe 3. Okay, um, we have that. And then we also have the 140 watt charger. So it's not it's not as heavy as I would thought, but yeah. So it's so it's definitely there. Um. So what what is my configuration, right? What what is it that I currently have? So I've ordered the 16 inch N1 Max with 64 gigabytes of unified memory. 
which is the one that comes with the 32 core GPU and the one terabyte of solid state drive. Now, as to why I go with a one terabyte, it's because this is gonna be stationary for the most of the time as I'm trying to work out my setup here on my desk to make it, you know, more of a content creation uh, here on my channel. So that's, that's basically why uh, I just only got one terabyte because it's gonna stay here. It's not gonna go anywhere. So, and when I do end up going out, uh, it's because I just either, you know, there's uh, a second shooter that we're going to basically just file transfer all the videos into this computer and or to my external drive. So I have an external SSD. Uh, I have the eight terabyte Samsung one and I'll talk about that. And so in another video. So but again, it's just want to elaborate how wow, how <laughs> how beautiful this looks now. I started editing my videos on my MacBook Air. So, but before that, let me go ahead and, oh my goodness, let me go ahead. It's just so satisfying. I will see if I can, it's so satisfying. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave that there. I'm gonna say that. Space Gray really is, it's really really nice wow space gray is the space gray is the way to go i think in my opinion so yeah if you guys can see that just the light putting on it it's just space gray is really really cool okay so comparison right that's it's one of the things that i missed so i did bring um my macbook air and then so a little bit a little bit of history here so this is my 20, ah, let me see if I can pull it out here. Yeah, this is my uh, 2013, let me see, I think it's 2013, 2014. 2014, okay, I was right. So it does have the i5 processor, this MacBook Air. This is how started with Final Cut Pro. That's not the case here, but um, one of the things that I did love about this, it was very portable. I was able to take it to different places. But this is what I was missing, guys. It was the, uh, you can see the ports, right? So those are the ports that I was talking about that I didn't, you know, you could not find on the previous MacBook Pros. But, you know, now it's here. Now it's in the M1 Max. And I am so, so excited to, you know, start my journey into the pro world. Um, and so that's that's one of the benefits of, of having one of these. But overall, weight-wise, it's like not bad at all. Like let's say you were to carry it around. That's it's not bad. I mean I'm about five foot seven, so yeah, it's not it's not bad. You can see definitely the vents here on the on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But there's vents on the bottom of this. Macro Pro. So the feel of it, it's very premium. Of course, I gotta show it off. Yeah, I gotta show off the, I gotta show off the ports. There they are. Man, it's just gorgeous. Whew. So the feel of it, the build of it, everything is, it sounds pretty good here. So I'm gonna get this here. So here it is. It's right here now. It's on my desk. So here we go. Let's go ahead and open that up for the first time. Oh man. I don't feel like taking out the cover. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to touch it. But guys, it Yeah, you can definitely you you can't okay so let's let's take it off just just let's take it off really slow you like like okay so when you see it live like you can go to the apple store and see one of these demos but when you see it in person it's like wow okay. it's so 
definitely you cannot ignore that notch that notch is definitely there um but really it doesn't doesn't bother me i mean here let me see if i have i mean we're used to having you know our iphones right and then if you have the latest iphone of course you'll i mean since the iphone x um you have a notch so this is the excess that i have here so basically that notch is still going to be there there you go <laughs> that notch is still going to be on top but you know you it's something you're already accustomed of seeing and already what you see here so preference of what i do is a lot of video content creation it i just and, and graphics which i'm starting to learn on after effects that is basically something that i want to go ahead and and put it into practice i just want to compare this to my <laughs> macbook air so oh yeah there you go look at that not that difference okay so this is my macbook air that i started off with i still have it i don't i don't use this for content creation because i've gotten my wife's uh m1 macbook air that i'm currently using for all my videos um for all my 4k rendering but i do have the m1 uh macbook air that i've been uh using for my content creation so i have the basic and then I have, of course, as you can see, the M1 Max with 64 unified gigabyte of memory. And this is the one that costs $38.99 on Apple's website. So this is the one I went with because I want to future-proof myself for future projects and future content creating. And I can bring more here at this channel. So again, guys, that was it. So yeah, go ahead and check out your nearest Apple store, you know, play with it let me know how it goes Keep drop me in the comments and yeah we'll catch you guys in the next one more tests on this beast is coming up for sure all right take care